Okay, I already forgot the joke I just said. <laughs> so you had a joke about a stabbing. Yeah. It's <laughs> <I'm> past. <laughs> I did. Okay. Well, then it wasn't funny. That was funny. Okay. This was clever. Clavier. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the F Word Podcast. I'm your host, G, and with me is Vass in his dress shirt and Anthony in his... Teddy Fresh. Teddy Fresh shirt. Is that a new brand? It's Remember we were talking about H3H3 last week? Oh, yeah. This is his company. Or his wife's company, technically, but... Well, for all you H3H3 fans, uh, Anthony's representing. Mm Mm-hmm. Representing the Vape clothes nation. all across the world. Anyways, welcome to another week, everybody. Um, our link to Linktree was down, and I checked the website, and the website was also down. So, like, I don't cool. know. It says temporarily unavailable, but that didn't help us very much because nobody could get the links to any of our shit. So then we signed up to another one. So if you're going through Instagram, it's bio.fm, and we got an account through there now. Okay. So that's good. Um, Actually, Robbie from Out of the Blank podcast. I was on his. Uh, I was on an episode of his. Mm-hmm. He's from Seattle, and uh, if you guys want to check out a good podcast, he interviews a bunch of people from all over the place. He's got one coming up with a voice actor, actually. So I'm excited mm-hmm. to hear that one. Um, a hentai voice actor. Not that one. Oh. No. Who cares? Um, but Robbie was like, "Yeah, your links doesn't don't work." I was like, "Well, fuck." So I had at to least go back. someone was how, using them. So well, how long has this been going on then? You know what? I don't think I don't know how long. It may be a week, maybe two weeks. I'm not sure. All I know is that the numbers from the week before to this past week mm. had dropped by half. And then I looked. I'm it. like, oh, the link's definitely been out for a bit, so no one's been able to reach it except okay. Arturo. Except Arturo, yeah, but he knows. Like he's he gets the notifications. Which, if you are listening from wherever you're listening to, there is a notification button, and you know it'll notify you when the episode goes up. If you don't remember yeah. that every Saturday at one o'clock we release, mm-hmm. um, we are also two subs away from a thousand subscribers on youtube Ew. which is super fucking funny because we stopped doing it almost a year ago maybe even i'd say a over ago. a year ago yeah it's a slow burn is what but that is. we've been lucky because a lot of the reviews i did before have been getting third seasons on netflix oh. and so i think that's why so la casa de papel which is our most popular one mm-hmm. that got a season three so people were going to check out what season one and two are about because yeah, right. i've been getting more people commenting on it then now babylon berlin exceptional exceptional german show that has season three on netflix yeah and so that one i think is getting people coming through because they're like what the fuck is this all about oh. mm. Fair enough. so yeah i still have been like i've said it probably every second episode or every episode but uh i've been wanting to keep go back to do reviews mm-hmm. just because i like the look of them they were fun. I have a better way to do them that's shorter, more concise, and I think it'd be a lot better overall. And Because um, when I was looking back on some of them, I was like, well, this wasn't necessary and this wasn't necessary. So I, I kind of do want to get back into them. Yeah. Um, speaking of reviews, I've got one or two today. I got two today. Do you guys have any reviews? I saw the Impractical Jokers movie. How was it? Fucking actually really good. Yeah. Honestly, like... It was kind of like a kid version of Jackass, but it was still edgy. Like, they actually, yeah. like, they swore, which is really out of character for them because, uh... They don't swear in the show? No, like, not, oh. like, overly. Like, they dropped an F-bomb in the middle. Like, the most random place. It was super funny, though. But it was just, like, a lot of people shit on it for, like, because they were trying to have a plot. Like, they showed them, like, as kids from high school, but they were the same, like, age. As, it was just them dressed, like, in 90s or 80s clothes or whatever. Yeah. Mm. But I just thought it was funny, like, because it was based around true stories of how they met in high school and shit like that. And it was just, like, a... It was obviously a joke, mm-hmm. but like the bits itself were fucking funny. Like I remember they said the basis for the movie was every bit they wanted to do on the show that was like too edgy, they saved all for this movie. And like they had like quite a bit of like not overly edgy, like compared to the show. What I was like, holy shit! Like it was, just, it worked out really well. Yeah. I hope they do another one because again, it gave me like jackass vibes, like just the bit itself. But mm-hmm. and I think they're actually doing relatively well, like in the box office. So I was happy it came to our small city. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. Fast, any reviews? I have nothing. It's been a slow week. I haven't been gotten to go see anything. It was kind of just one of those weeks. It was one of those weeks where you didn't one get One of those kind of nights. Yeah. Those kind of nights. I just turned up your volume. I'm going to have to make sure to remember to go to four minutes because oh, okay. you're not loud enough, man. Sorry. That's okay. Should I be here? 
That would help. Oh, okay, whatever. That would help. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got a couple. Go for it. Uh, Altered Carbon Season 2. How was it? The first half was interesting that was with and Mackie, good. Right? Anthony Mackie, yeah, yeah, originally with Joel Kinnaman, who in my – I'd actually – that was another – like that was like the one of the last reviews I did was mm-hmm. the first season. It was good, and Joel Kinnaman was actually more enjoyable to watch because he's usually like pretty dead-eyed and mm-hmm. not – really that entertaining to watch and i know that he's playing because in the movie in the show sorry people it's like we've beat death by putting people's stacks which is like they're pretty much their being and their soul Mm -hmm. into different sleeves Mm -hmm. and a sleeve is body a body right and so this is 30 years after the first one and what time like what year is it set in the first one you know it's funny i don't actually remember but it's way 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 the the fuck out there and Mm -hmm. I know that he's playing a character who's relatively stoic, mm-hmm. but it was really interesting because Anthony Mackie started off as being his like charismatic, mm-hmm. you like watching him, but then after it seems like it wanted to just leave him and go off into an, a tangent of other things, and you kind of forgot he was around for a bit. And even the show kind of felt like it forgot towards the second half. At one point, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. So like... Is they they like? they pull focus from Anthony Mackie. Yeah, and I understand why because oh, yeah. there was a bigger story there. Mm-hmm. I just didn't think they. It's almost like they had one idea and then they're like, "Oh shit, we've got to incorporate this." So let's just devote three episodes out of the blue mm-hmm. towards this other thing. And then I was so fucking lost. Were you so supposed to be lost? lost, or was it just like I it don't just know. happened? Maybe, no. maybe that was the whole the point. Season? Pardon? Have you finished it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. I finished oh, okay, it. So by the end of it, I was just like, I, I it. Finished off fine, but I got super lost at mm-hmm. that, like, I would say episode five mark. It's eight episodes, okay. so it's not overly long. It just feels really long. Mm-hmm. Episodes Are the episodes hours? 48 That's minutes, pretty close. Bad. So, but, you know, it, he progressively got less and less charismatic. Like, at first when it started off, you're like, yes, this is Anthony Mackie. The guy, like, has... He has presence Mm -hmm. on screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know when he's there, he can command a screen. And then I'm like, it seems like they just slowly chipped away at like that charisma. And I don't know. Hmm. It was, again, it was an okay first bit. They had a, there was one really interesting concept with a robot named Poe, or it's like a hologram robot Mm -hmm. type of thing. Mm -hmm. He was my favorite character in the first one. He was also my favorite character in this. Um, Was he kind of like the bellhop? Yes. Okay. So, he was actually going through Alzheimer's slash dementia because his processing unit was compromised. So he was forgetting things. And I was like, Hmm. oh, shit. Like, this is a... Like, it was beautifully done because the actor is exceptional. Mm -hmm. And so it was super interesting. So that was that one. Uh, If you watch the first one, you can watch the second one. If you don't don't get lost like I did, fucking good for you. Hmm. So was the first better than the second? You know what? I would say yes, as a whole, the second one, again, up until see, I think it's episode four or five, was looking really, really strong. Mm-hmm. But then I just, the funny thing too is, I don't know if anyone else would ever get this. It felt like it had Batman and Robin vibes. Mm-hmm. So the world was super colorful. And oh, a lot the of movie. the movie. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. But okay, not that bad. But a lot of the lines were kind of corny and cheesy, and then, <clears throat> then it got into super not cringy, but almost mm-hmm. there. And I was like, oh, this is the writing was way different than the first one. Like the first one was a little bit out there, mm-hmm. um, like, but the second one seemed to go a little bit more into that. So I don't know. I had this weird Batman and Robin vibe. Not nearly as bad, mm-hmm. obviously, but it seemed like it seemed like it had just hints of that, unintentional hints of that. And then the other one I saw was The Last Thing He'll Want, I believe it's called, with Anne Hathaway. It's got um, The Last Thing He Wanted. Mm-hmm. So it stars Anne Hathaway, um, Willem Dafoe's in this, Ben Affleck's in this. It's not great. It's it a want- Netflix original? It is. Okay. It's one of, again, another one. It's a movie, not mm-hmm. a show. It's one of those ones where it started off relatively promising. Anne Hathaway was, you know, pretty good. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden it just got super convoluted, super confusing. Um, 
it also it had the thing where kind of like an altered carbon where people ended up showing up in places that didn't make sense how they got there they just were there okay and in this one it's kind of the same thing but it's just like why are we here why is it taking so long it just just dragged like crazy so is this like a romantic film or? No, no no she's a reporter that ends up having to deal have to do this deal for her dad like in a massive drug deal that ends up conf- going confusingly wrong okay and confusing by the fact that like you're just kind of like what the fuck kind of basis it's a drama yeah no it totally is mm-hmm. um as it like Anne Hathaway did a good performance it just was not a really good movie sometimes she was over the top Ben Affleck mm-hmm. they could have hired anybody did not need Ben Affleck in this um and then Netflix yeah they said about Batman too I guess there you go. It, it just ended up falling the fuck off by the end of it interesting yeah so that's those are the two that I got. Okay. Um, what else? No reviews. That's it. I, I, I haven't watched anything new. I finished watching How I Met Your Mother again. I just started <laughs> watching How I Met Your Mother again. Hey, uh, one door opens, another closes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I held out too. I think it was like almost a year actually. I yeah. I stopped in like March or after my second watch, so I just yeah. stopped because it depressed the hell, holy hell out of me. But uh, I was I was thinking, Netflix needs to do like. Uh, what is it a highlights or a score sheet? Like how many times? Hey, you've watched How I Met Your Mother for the tenth time. Do you actually want that? Though? I actually I would. I would like know. to know how many out because yeah. I think I've I think I've seen Brooklyn Nine Nine like eight times, like through, um, as a series. Probably too. close to that as well. And I would like to know how many hours I've spent watching that show. Yeah, mm. like a PlayStation thing, you know, like a, you know actually, exactly how many hours you spent mm-hmm. on that. Yeah, like I spent over. I think. I just beat Dragon Ball Kakarot, yeah. and I think I spent like 26 hours playing the main story, mm-hmm. and now I want to go back and do all the side quests and shit and wait yeah. for the DLC, but I hope they did. I hope they would do that. I know it depressed the holy hell out of a lot of people, but yeah, I think but it'd be it, pretty fun to see. For me, because I have my rotation, I usually go like, How Met Your Mother, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, The Office, and then Family Guy. And you watch like, all of Family Guy? No. Okay. It's, I think I've said it before on the show, but it's really weird because I'll, I'll watch from... Um, the one House of Horrors one mm-hmm. where they're like, that's murder mystery going yeah. on. I'll start from there and then go on because that's like season nine. Really? I don't know why. I just don't go any further back than that. Um, just really bad quality. Like not in terms of episode, but like the actual yeah. visual quality of Family Guy yeah. back then just sucked. But they got a lot more edgy as the seasons went on. Like they mm-hmm. went no holds barred. But between all those, it'd be interesting to see how many times, how many hours. Hours is probably a good way to say how many hours you spent watching How I Met Your Mother? Mm-hmm. So you kind of that'd be very interesting. Yeah, I don't need to know that. It's it's like yeah. you go drinking one night and your friends like, do you really want to know what happens? Like, nope. <laughs> but I feel like know. it'd be an awesome like flex for like, hey, well, you know, you think you're the better like How I Met Your Mother fan? Well, I've spent you know ninety hours watching the show. Where are you at? I'm only yeah. at seventy two. Well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, again, I don't know that that's a brag. <laughs> Sick brag. Um, you did miss, you did mention PlayStation, and fuck, man, P- PlayStation 2 turned 20 yesterday. Mm. Holy shit. One of my first no. consoles. I think Game Boy is my first, but PlayStation 2 is like my second one because Nick gave it to us. Nintendo original, or was it the Super Nintendo that was ours? Original. Original. Yeah. So we're like NES, right? Mm-hmm. Fuck, that PS2 yeah. was We a did beast. NES, N64, yep. PS2. Yep. PS2 was that massive, massive jump in like all the gaming and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And uh, here's some highlights. Okay, all for right. All, hit all us, you hit, hit us with some highlights. Guitar Hero Two. Ooh, yeah, unreal. I, I remember okay. that. That was the old Guitar uh, Hero One. I remember. Oof. Kingdom Hearts Two. Never got into it. Tony Hawk's Underground. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Beyond S- Good and Evil. See, Pro Skater Two for Tony Hawk was my top. I never played the Underground. Devil May Cry Three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bully from Rockstar. I never played it. God though. of War. Uno. Yes. Oh my God. I can't believe the that best. was that far back. <laughs> so crazy. I like. I've said this story on the show, but that was like one of my most memorable pickups because I just saw it randomly, had no idea what the game was about, picked it up. Unbelievable. Hmm. Never stopped playing it. It was so good. It was totally by accident. Final Fantasy Ten. Final, Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2, okay. Grand Theft Auto, Vice oh, City. Oh, Vice, yes. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That's right. Three was the PS1 and PC. Ooh. We played it on PC. That's right, we did. Um, <clears throat> Shadow of the Colossus. Never got into that. Metal Gear Solid, Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Mm-hmm. Fuck. 
I think you're missing uh, Underground 2, Need for Speed Underground 2. Mm, I thought that was a PS1. It was a PS2. PS2. We played it on the PC, though. It wasn't on this list. I'm just going through no, IGN's PS2. list. Like, it was a top 20 list that oh, IGN okay. put together. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's a pretty good one. Fucking Need for Speed Underground 2 was massive. I can't yeah. believe that. That's so crazy. Fucking you know, PS2 was... I got into PS2 after all the hype shit came. So, like, GameCube was... Remember the best GameCube game? I don't know if you guys played it on the PS2, though. Ultimate mm-hmm. Spider-Man. Did you ever play that oh, one? Oh, yeah. Like, the I comic book one? Yeah, that, was, that like, was great. That was hype That was a fun. really good Spider-Man mm-hmm. game. And then, uh, I believe, the PS2 was the first console to have the CD in it. The CD player? The compact? Uh, oh, oh built in. You can play. It's built in. You can play DVDs and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. PS1 didn't let you do that. No, and I'll tell you why. Because Ethan reminded me that we watched The Matrix for the first time on the fucking PS2. That's fair. <laughs> like, on, at home. I was mm-hmm. like, wow. That was a big selling point for Sony, though. Because even the PS3 oh, was, like, the only gosh. Blu-ray console until, like, the next gen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fucking wild. Hmm. Oh, that video's not going to last long at all. Awkward. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you mentioned PlayStation. I had it in the notes. That's so crazy. So fucking crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Where else are we? Okay, so we talked about... We didn't talk about this. We talked about this off camera. So Bond is being pushed to November. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was originally going to be April 10th, I think. Yeah. And because of the coronavirus, it's now going to November. It's very disappointing. So are they just like trying to outlast the coronavirus and like have more people come out to see it? I, th- I, think they, I assume they'd be done by now. Yeah, okay. This is the thing. Coronavirus is new. Mm-hmm. Everything I've read from professional doctors that I put posts up of like about the coronavirus, it's a flu, like just yes. like the flu that we have. But because it's brand new and we don't know much about it and we're, we're just as a society working out the kinks, it's like all hands on deck. We got to make sure that this thing isn't going to wipe people out. Mm-hmm. So far, I think they said, I mean, the flu's wipe killed more people or kills more people per year than mm-hmm. this has. But this hasn't been long, around long enough well, yeah. to, mm-hmm. to give us actual stats. I, just, I know that people at work had vacations planned that they had to cancel. Um, obviously, people are getting quarantined. We've seen that. And then yep. in Hollywood, like, they're canceling showings. They're canceling festivals, all stuff like that. They're, mm. they're pushing the fucking Olympics. Till oh, when? yeah. No, I don't know. Is at least the Summer Olympics, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. 2020. It's happening this year. And they're pushing that back. And, and one of the World like, Cups is this year, too. That's a $15 billion investment, which I found out like three days ago. <clears throat> the Beijing one, I think, was about $15 billion. Yeah. Some of these other ones went up to $40 billion to put up. Well. Don't all the cities also Olympics. always get fucked after the Olympics because it just like crashes their economy? It's, yeah. it's both that Vancouver. or World it's, Cup. It's, no, it's, it's the Olympics. No, but it's also World Cup. Like Not when as World bad, Cup though. was in Brazil, fucked. Not Those only the that, uh, they have a rule. They have a rule that they can't have alcohol in it. And pretty much FIFA came in and said, "Fuck you guys, Budweiser's our sponsor, so we're changing your rules for our event." Brazil in general, you're saying? I believe this was that was because because it was held in Brazil. That's very odd how they're not allowing alcohol. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, between both of those m- major world events, it's just it's a. Uh, You'd think it's actually supposed to boost their economy, but really it's a double-edged sword at the end of the day. It's what's where you're left with after. Yeah. So maybe it boosts it during, but after yeah. you're left with this like mausoleum of a <clears throat> of an arena that who the fuck people are you people have with? yet mm-hmm. to. F- I don't I don't I haven't read too closely, but I can't imagine any country that's been able to use some of the stadiums that they've built specifically for that since what the fuck would you do with them they're so big and the housings that they've created yeah mm-hmm. like at best they can do it as low income housing for like whatever you know what they need they need a machine that can suck up the machines the not the machines the arenas mm-hmm. like remember that thing i don't really like referencing this movie but that transformers <laughs> thing that was devastator eating, yeah the thing that was sucking <laughs> the top of the pyramid they need one of those and then it'll just turn it into like concrete that they can mix and use it for other build houses or something or find like I, I, I have the amount of money that it would take just to demolish one of those things to use mm-hmm. for something else is astronomical. This is crazy. Yeah, Olympics suck. Well, no, 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 they don't suck. It's just how what they've become they, and they've gone so far off the deep end, and all the countries want to showcase their country. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you're inviting somebody over to your house and you're gonna mm-hmm. clean the shit out of it. Um, maybe I don't know paint. Like before my wedding. Dad was painting the whole place, putting up baseboards, like doing mm-hmm. all this stuff because we were having family from overseas coming. So mm-hmm. you wanted they he wanted to put the best foot forward yeah. of the house, right? And this is kind of the same case, but in the billions of dollars <laughs> range. range, yeah. And so it's like 
you invite these people over, you get all this money, you get all that, and then you're left with this disaster that you have to pick up yourself. It's like, oh yeah, come in, don't worry about your shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, fuck me. Okay, yeah. fuck me, right? <laughs> so for the coronavirus, because I'm also on that same page where it's like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it'll blow over like Ebola blew over. Like where mm-hmm. everybody was kind of freaking out over it. Then it kind of like literally I, it just went away. Like nobody even talked about it after a certain period of time. I think it's it's just how widespread it's become, and like yeah, because it's it's gotten from the base of China to now like here, 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 here. It's like, well, I, either a people are being very uh, uncautious about it mm-hmm. or it's just, you don't like, uh, there's the other aspect of it. You don't actually know you have the symptoms until you have it and mm-hmm. then you're spreading it and you might not be affected by, it, but you're going to affect the next person. Yeah. And it seems to be, everything is just like, wash your hands. Basically. Mm-hmm. And, but like all these, like, again, like bond doesn't want to, they, they could easily have done it from the re- one report I read, and I think it was Cinema Blend or IGN. Mm-hmm. It was saying how they could have very well showcased it, but left the rest of the world out. Mm-hmm. And so I think they're just doing it. As, and, and But they want to protect the crew because you still have to market it. You have to go out. You have to <coughs> press. You have to do all that yeah. stuff. So to protect the crew, which yeah. for now, I I'm I agree with. It sucks because I really want to see this movie like right away. I didn't think they pushed it that far back. Holy crap. But I mean, I think... The problem is, supposedly, it's putting put... So, it's going back to when most of the James Bonds have been released. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's also going up against a lot more movies. Mm-hmm. So, Marvel's Eternals or the New Mutants or whatever the fuck is New coming Mutant out. New comes out in April. April. Black Widow comes out May-ish. Does Eternals... I thought... Are they already done um, filming? Maybe. I, I, apparently, there's a Marvel movie that's coming out then, and then there's some other ones. So, it's got some competition, whereas opposed to April, I think it was... It was the only big itself. contender, yeah. Yeah. So that being said, it's you know mm. puts them at a obviously a disadvantage. Yeah. Well, I mean, this this virus already pushed back uh, Mission Impossible as well, right? We talked about it last week. Yes. <coughs> yeah. Um, I think that was the case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it just it just got spread in Italy, and there that was when yes. their whole festival was being shut down. So it's like, okay. yeah, we're shutting down production. Oh shit! Just. Actually, yeah. So it's going against the Eternals. Godzilla vs. Kong. No. Which might be a thing. I don't know. You know actually, what? I heard early reviews actually said it was actually like decent. Kay. It was actually good. If it's, it's, it, been if it's gonna f- just like showed. follow the Kong Skull Island setup. Wasn't that I, a terrible movie? I actually really liked it. I thought okay. it was very good. And John C. Riley's character was probably one of the top in it all. Interesting. But I saw a Clifford movie coming out. <clears throat> Live action slash, slash CGI. Yikes. Listen, dad wants to go see Bond, but the kid wants to see Clifford. They're gonna go see Clifford. Also, a Disney movie called Raya and the Last Dragon. I mean, it's Disney, oh, so it's going to clean house anyway. Clean house. Mm-hmm. For the coronavirus, so a lot of, like, misconception, not to, like, to completely go off that, but oh, man. it's that a lot of people are scared, but it's only affecting, like, small children and very old people mm-hmm. because, like, their, their immune, system. immune system sucks. Yeah, but you also don't want your children being sick. Well, yeah, but I don't have kids. So I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Jesus. then. laughs> I saw that one coming a mile away. Uh, so for me, you know, I'm just cruising. Well, just wash your hands and don't touch kids' faces. Oh, well, they'll go, they'll go away half my fucking morning activities. Jesus. What? Wash um, my hands. Yeah, Afternoon sure. is where I touch the kid's face. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> We stumbled into some interesting territory. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Mind you, I I used to think like that too. It's like, oh, they're not my kids. Who gives a damn fuck? Now it's like air fresheners, right? <laughs> now the kid, it's like kids are the most precious thing in the world. At least to me, until they get older and then they get angsty and then I hate mm-hmm. them. Teenage angst. Teenage angst. It's my least. It's one of my least favorite things in the world. Working at a movie theater with a bunch of teenage angst. <laughs> Fucking sucks, man. Fucking um, sucks. Sp- so Bond, we talked about PS2, we talked about uh, Lucifer is apparently getting a sixth season now, and Tom Ellis has signed on. Yep. So I'm, is that a I'm Netflix original season? Uh, it's not, not original. An, it's not Netflix original, but Netflix how has it. Mm-hmm. They picked it up. It was around the same time that Brooklyn Nine-Nine was going to get canceled, no? Yeah, yeah, they were part of that big uh, drop-off, and Lucifer got saved just after, just after Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So will a sixth season be on TV or on Netflix? No, Netflix. Netflix. So, so the season and it's set, like, will it not be considered a Netflix original then? Is they not going to pull a Disney Plus? <sighs> no, I, I would say that that season is the Netflix original, mm-hmm. but the, the series, whole series yeah. is not. No. I would say if you want to cut split hairs at that point, yeah. Um, there is, there was, I, I think it's just a rumor at this point, but there is the Suicide Squad. Um, it, because they've wrapped a year and a half sooner, or, sorry, they've already wrapped in their year and a half away from release. Mm-hmm. 
maybe that one gets pushed forward. That's a possible possibility. I I think that would be a good idea. Not obviously now, but you know, would you say like a probably like a December winter release kind of thing? I don't think so. Why? It, when were they set to? Uh, whatever a year and a half from now would be. So okay. summer. I think it'd be almost the same summer time of twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two. No, twenty one. Twenty one. Oh. Yeah, twenty one would be Let's see. So a year and a half away. Mm. August sixth. August. Okay. Okay. Which is around the time that the other Suicide Squad released too. Yeah, it was in like summer. Yeah, so it's it's a it's a summer movie. I think it's not necessarily a winter movie. You know what? I think if they release it in January of 2021, they might actually catch that low end because there's a lot of decent movies that come out during January. People are bored as hell. Well, so it used to be a dumpster for ground for shitty movies, but now it's gotten better. Exactly. Yeah, I, just I want don't them know. to like, take their time. Just make the movie well, good. They've wrapped, and then worry about they've worry already, about right. right. So they've wrapped shooting, which means there might be reshoots. There's editing. There's yep. blah 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 blah. So mark it a year from now, and I think it'd still be good. March. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention when we talked about PS2, mm-hmm. Logan is three years old this week. Whoa. Yeah. Most of the time we don't, like week to week, I don't know the ages of stuff, but mm-hmm. there was yeah. Hugh Jackson put of, out a post. I guess it's a good milestone to bring up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's just three years. I wasn't relevant to, to PS2. <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> <huh? laughs> it so wasn't. He said, oh, I messed this when we were talking about PS2. Logan's three years old. <laughs> yeah, no, just because one's old. Like, we're talking about years it, old. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. yeah. So Makes PS2 sense. is 20, Logan is three, but... That's see that makes sense. Like Logan feels like it was three years ago. It's yeah, not like it was Logan was like fifteen years ago, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I guess right. Um, Uncharted went from not happening to now Antonio mm. Banderas. <laughs> like he's, he's and apparently the script is relatively good. Hmm. Uh, he's probably so gonna be a villain. Mark Wahlberg is not Nathan Drake. No, he's Scully. He's Scully, which is still super fucking weird. Too. Tom Holland is Nathan Drake. Right. Yeah. Okay, that's the one. But Wahlberg is only signed on for and one movie. That's weird. So maybe the next one is going to be an older Nathan Drake, or just without yeah. Scully, which I feel is very weird mm-hmm. because I don't think you can have one without the other. I never played the game, so. Oh man, no. It, Scully is like what he a is, mentor. He is like the no, Alfred. He's like... he's like the Alfred to his Batman. Oh, okay. Like so Mark Wahlberg doesn't actually fit the bill for that technically. He doesn't no, like not even in voice, Our not luck. even not even from a thief's end yeah. and even in Drake's Deception, which was the yeah. third one, where they did show flashbacks. Yeah. Sully? Yeah. Sully. You should do Mark Strong. No, it wouldn't be him either. Why? Because he doesn't type. fit. Um he, you know who looks the part would be oh. um, Again, I don't have no idea what the look is. I would say JK Simmons. With the mustache would be close, is much closer. This is Nathan and Sully. Oh, okay. I think I said Scully. No, so I said Scully. You said Sully correctly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Scully. Uh-huh. All right. And this is them young. Scully. Which again, yeah, like even here as them being young, like he still looks the same just without the gray Tom hair. Tom Holland could like pass. Oh, it looks like De Niro. No. Well, in this, it looks like De Niro. I mean, I guess. Godfather but he looks like He looks like De Niro from Godfather 2 there. I, yeah, sure. But, I mean, right now, actors that could play him. Alex Trebek looks the part, but that's not obviously going to happen. No. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't see Wahlberg at all. Mm-hmm. Like, not even close. I and I know. played the games, all of them, multiple times. Actually, I played the first one once. I played the second one three times. Hmm. I played the third one five twice. times. And I played Thieves End twice. Okay. So I'm, I'm familiar with the lore. Good, good, good. Nice. I have only played the fourth one in full, but I watched Nick and Michael play the entire trilogy. Mm. Uh, They're so good. I don't know. Like, I don't really care for Mark Wahlberg. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't disagree with your statement, but it's like I don't care enough to like. I'll just wait until I see mm-hmm. him in yeah. action to like actually decide. No, for sure. But I mean, I don't know. It's just so. Like, it the, is. There weird. are casting like choices that are weird. Like, and I know we've had the debate with the Heath Ledger thing or. Mm-hmm. Jared Leto or whatever, but they're both relatively skinny dudes that could, in makeup, do something. At that point, you're just worried about their acting overall, but he doesn't even look like he'd be the part. That's the weird part to me. Like, not even, like I said, not even close. Maybe it's the Tom Holland curse, you know? Every uh, older co-star he's supposed to have is just really young and hot. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Speaking of which, did you guys see that deep fake video with him and Robert Downey Jr. Yes. in Back to the Future? Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. And, Those uh, deepfakes scare the shit out of me, but it's pretty good. He said 
because people are worried. He, Tom Holland said he has no interest in like trespassing on like sacred ground, so he doesn't want to like. Okay. Because people were like, "Oh, you can't do like reboot it with them." I don't know why it matters. Like, why do you care? Well, I it's feel, it's I the same thing with everything. Feel Back to the Future is one of them you don't need to touch. It's, it's like that with every reboot. Do yeah. you really need to touch it? No. Will they touch it? Yes. Hmm. Think, <laughs> phrasing. Ask me. Phrasing. Sorry. Good call. <laughs> uh, think of a reboot. Think of any reboot and let me know if it was actually necessary. Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> like but like the amazing Spider Man no. Maybe the like the Tom Holland one, sure, because it fits in a larger story. Also because like, they butchered it. Even yeah. even then they don't need to do like they didn't need to. Uh, All these Batman movies X-Men, too. Days oh, of Future Batman. Past. We don't get Christian Bale if they never rebooted though. Days of no, Future. I know, but I'm saying like Days, Ooh, of, Days Future of Future. Past. That's not true. On that actually. was a great one, but they still didn't need to do it. No, they needed to do it to wipe the slate clean of what happened with Last Stand. And then what did they do? I thought all of them <laughs> are great. Okay, <laughs> no, I'm Dark Phoenix was. Eh. I still like Apocalypse. I stand by that. Unpopular opinion. I like it. Wow. I don't know why I just Ooh, enjoyed it. Bumblebee. You haven't seen Bumblebee, I don't think, though, have but you? But the first Transformers was fine. They should have just stopped there. Why? I saw Bumblebee. You I, need I, really, more I enjoyed it. Shia LaBeouf in your yeah, life. Exactly. Do Bring I? him back. He's having a... C- yeah, Mark Wahlberg ruined that franchise. I want Sam. Do you, though? I do. I genuinely, not like non-ironically, I want <laughs> Shia LaBeouf to come back. I don't. I want him to do what he's doing now. He's picking good roles. He's being he's good, he's being a good actor because he's a good actor. He always I watched, was. I watched Constantine this past week too. So good. It, it is so good. I forgot Shia LaBeouf was in it. I, oh yeah, that's right. He was the young kid. And oh. uh, he was like his helper. Yeah. But I was looking. I'm like, this movie is we're still really good. Like I haven't seen it for years. I was so happy when they put it on Netflix. Not that I don't have it. Yeah. In no, my it's, ca- in my catalog. But have you, did you guys see the Constantine show? No. No. Never got into you it. haven't, you said? No, I got canceled like before the CW verse came, and then they yeah. like, added them afterwards. And I just didn't care because mm-hmm. the CW verse turned to shit. So, wah, wah. as TV does all the time. Uh, oh, I guess dead. now that we've talked, we've mentioned the term DC, the Batmobile. Let's get into it. I like it. I'm gonna bitch slap. Like people need to stop compl- complaining. It looks su- like such a good car, such oh, yeah. a good Batmobile, well, and it's all, year one. The car is beautiful. Yeah. Like, it is a beautiful vehicle. And it's literally a Batmobile. It's not a Bat tank. No. Okay? It's not a Bat, like... I think it's properly sourced, too, because mm-hmm. they showed the comic where it came from. It's like, here. It's right here. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a charger with, it like, the so extra nice. flares, mm-hmm. and that's it. Cool. Listen, think it looks great. They did it in Triple X with yeah. fucking Vin Diesel and a Pontiac GTO. Mm-hmm. Okay? Batman can do it with a charger. Um, mm-hmm. Like, it is a beautiful car. And it's era appropriate. You know what? I'm I'm very curious. Or sorry, I'm not curious. It I'm very surprised. Era appropriate. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, well done. Uh, every Batmobile fits the movie that it's in. Pretty I much. don't think there's been a Batmobile that has not fit. That's every true. single one has always been like that. Batmobile is amazing. It's exactly what the like what would be in that mm-hmm. movie. Like, even down to the tank itself. It's like, yeah, in this world, of course you'd have a fucking tank. Well, I don't hate on the tank, but it's like, listen, <coughs> you don't need the tank yeah. in every single ad- adaptation. Like, allow I, him. I really, really loved Ben Affleck's. Ben His Affleck's was like, was uh, awesome. like a thinned out tank. Mm-hmm. It, it was, was like kind of more mixture compact. of the old and new. Yeah. I do love the tumbler, though. Yeah. The tumbler oh, the like, tumbler was like fantastic. Was awesome. Yeah. And I was at yesterday. No, not yesterday. On Monday. Mm-hmm. I was watching the. This, the warehouse scene from Batman vs. Mm. Superman. Great film. That suit is so film. good. I loved his suit in it. Yeah. Like, obviously, I've, uh, we've already talked to death how yeah. great that scene is on its own, but I was like, the suit looks so good. Yeah. The suit also looks really good in this, like, photo of the bat. Yeah. It fits. And I think mm-hmm. that's actually Robert Pattinson. You can actually see his face, like, oh, looks yeah. good in this mask. It no, look he like looks shit, good. But... And the ears, like, oh, fuck. It's so cute. Sexy. And then, you know, the thing is, it looks like he can move in that, mm-hmm. like a ninja would, like somebody from the League of yeah. Shadows would. Whoops. I, I guess that'll probably be the biggest surprise for us is what his fighting style will look like, which route they're going to take. Yeah. I w- yeah. I hope it's I hope it's closer to Ben Affleck's than yeah. any of the other ones. Yeah. Like, Christian Bales was fine, but he wasn't really fighting. He was just strategically putting his arms up and then knocking his elbows yeah. down to hit somebody or, or something. Disabling them for life. <laughs> yeah. But I won't kill. Yeah. 
the irony of Batman. <laughs> See, that's what I like about other heroes is that they don't necessarily have that code, and so they can just do whatever. They, like, mm-hmm. so the fact that he has that code makes us as a viewer scrutinize all the stuff that he mm-hmm. does, right? And so the ones that don't, let's say like a Captain America, he's fucking murdered people, mm-hmm. and no one bats an eye. <laughs> Batman shoots one guy in the shoulder, and everyone loses their minds. <laughs> well, Batman, like Christian Bale's Batman, literally like destroyed people. And it was just funny because it's like he doesn't kill – but he's like to say, like he may as well just kill him. Like I would yeah. rather be dead and survive <laughs> that attack from him. Oh yeah, like can you imagine the amount of wheelchairs that had to be doled out to all of this? <laughs> like the stock price for wheelchairs just went See, through the roof. He's looking for the long term payout into the system. That's oh, what yeah. he's done. He's invested there you in go. those stocks. Goes out, and beats the shit out of everybody, and everybody needs it. And and then later that day, they get insurance pamphlets in their mail. Yeah, from Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> Maybe wow. that's his calling card. He just beats the show yeah. and drops it on their chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? There we go. We figured it out. Oh, yeah. Batman has been screwing the system. It's an insurance scam. Forever. It's a Ponzi scheme. That's how he stays on top. That's why he's so rich. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, he just moved. And all he's just been doing is moving money around. So all the money that he's been getting from the insurance, he's funneled into to feed into the wheelchair fund. And then once those prices jack up, he pulls some. And then he buys, yeah. I don't know, Batcoin or something. Mm. So for, um, I'm, I guess Bruce Wayne would have invented his own like Bat- cryptocurrency. Yeah. I don't know if he'd want to with Batcoin. Seems kind of like on the nose. Well, he wouldn't, but it would exist. It would be his, but nobody would know. What, it would Wayne be Coin. His. Mm. What was it? Wayne, Wayne Coin. Coin. Uh, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> we're not investing. That's in your where shark we're stopping. Yeah, I guess that's that. that's what's crossing the line. Like that's not good. In this circle of jerk offs, that's what I should have na- uh, put the bio to say. Just three jerk offs with microphones. Okay, I think I've well, said it before. <laughs> I've exp- I've actually described our podcast like that. I like be like, "What's your podcast about?" I'm like, "I don't know. It's just like three assholes with microphones that talk about like pop culture." And then the kindergarten teacher asked you to leave the class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she asked me to leave because I'm a 31 year old in a kindergarten class with no kids. But after <laughs> I said that, she really didn't want me to stay. Uh, Taiko Watiti, mm-hmm. he's on a roll on a big role and yep. now it looks like he's going to be doing a chocolate and the chocolate factory series oh mm-hmm. wait will uh willy wonka it all it says is charlie and the chocolate Factory. oh you said you just said chocolate and the chocolate factory oh i'm okay. sorry yeah. charlie like, and the chocolate factory so it must be a mini series then i guess so it's he's gonna, gonna be, be really, writing directing a, executive up. producing two new animated series both of which will be based on the beloved works on, works of roald dahl rolled so Roald. so this is animated now yeah I guess so. Will it be fucked up or I'll be like happy? Mm. I think it's gonna be both. Oh, yeah. So I don't know about the animated. I would rather. Ex- oh yeah, live action would uh, be yeah. cooler. You know what? I'm gonna say yes to animated, and I'll tell you why. Okay. You've got more room to do things. You don't have to worry too much about um, green facing people and then having people freak out online. They're mm-hmm. fucking cartoons, and you can you can be more creative with the the effects of the candy mm-hmm. to like without it having to be CGI'd. You know what I mean? Like, so you can really p- mess around with new things that, um, new things that'll just make it more interesting. Right. Yeah. And I don't know if, so it says Charlie and the chocolate factory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be curious if he takes the animated series when Charlie takes over the factory. Cause he takes it over after. Oh yeah. But then he ends up becoming like the maniacal, Fucking chocolate kingpin of sorts, yeah. but either way, and it turns I don't into mind a Sweeney Todd situation where he starts killing people. Maybe, maybe. I mean, those kids are already dead. <clears throat> they deserved it. All of them deserved mm-hmm. it. Um, but anyways, I think with animated, obviously, it gives you more liberties for stuff. I guess depends the type of animation. Mm-hmm. I could see it going the Scoob route, <coughs> the way that the new Scoob cart. Uh, there was a trailer that came out today for that, didn't it? I yeah. Didn't see it. Well, okay. I don't know it came out today, but is that Mystery Incorporated? Is that legit? I no, it's so. Scoob. It's just called Scoob. Okay. Uh, I Wait, think sorry, there was a fake did you say trailer. Mystery Incorporated. I thought I think I saw a fake trailer for Mystery Incorporated where it was a live action Scooby Doo again, but it was for like sure done very fake. well. I wouldn't be surprised if they made a like Riverdale styled Scooby Doo. It, it had that vibe, a hundred percent. See, that's what they need Ooh. to do. They I honestly, to, I'd be interested by that. Again, I'd be interested God. if they redid Archie in the Scoob style, which because they're very similar, mm-hmm. f- 
as a Netflix series. I would watch that because I used to read the shit out of Archie comics. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think a cartoon version of them would be really good. See, I was never big into Archie because I know, like, my uncle, Nick, he had so many fucking Archie comics. I'm like, no DC or Marvel ones, so it was just useless to me. What did we have? We used to have boxes of them, yeah, like shoe that. boxes. Fuck they got checked was Archie off. really that big, like, like Dude, all across? It still is for some people. Yeah. But, like, huge. not comics. Like, the show, yeah. No, the, comic, the is comics. Comic? Really? The actual books Oh, the comics, yeah. yeah. I know they do a lot of crossovers with, like, Predator and shit like that. It doesn't really make sense, but... That like, was after, like, when we were... I would say when I was about 15 years old is when I think that's when it was re- even like really, really big. But even before that, for me, mm-hmm. big. I knew it was always big. It was always around. You can always find them. Fuck, you can go to any grocery store now and you can still find them, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I haven't read any for years, but yeah. So what was in the Archie universe? Was it like Archie, then Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, and was that it? Or was there other ones? Uh, Josie and the Pussycats. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of... Was that was Because the Archies and Archie? Josie and the Pussycats had a crossover... And that's in the show, too. Oh, I thought they were always a part of the comic books. No. Because do you watch Riverdale? No, I like the first season. So Josie and the Pussycats are in it, too. But I'm saying even in the comics, they had the two together. Because Archie had the Archies. Like, that was Mm -hmm. the band and stuff. And they would connect and do shit. I think Sonic is now part of the same publishing company. I don't say they're going to cross over, but it wouldn't surprise me if they do soon. Hmm. They did have that Family Guy episode where they had... Or no, either Simpsons or Family Guy where they dropped homer off at home or peter and they said stay out of riverdale and they went away or something oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I forget sure I, I forget which one it, uh it was one of the bits on one seems of seems like family guy i think so too because it, it, was, it was quite recent um anyway so new batmobile we're both mm-hmm. uh, we're all all three of us both on board i'm really excited for the trailer so let's jump off of cars into other car related stuff family so, <laughs> john wick director chad stahelski a Quiet Place producers and the writers from one of the recent TM- TMNT movies are now teaming up to do a car-focused action film. So Fast and Furious. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be an homage to the car shows from the past. Mm-hmm. And like that's why he's directing it. So I'm, okay, I'm excited that he's directing it. The producers, sure. Quiet Place was good. Mm-hmm. I don't know to what degree the producers were it, but they were there. I don't get the t- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles writers because those movies were not written very well at all. Is this the? I assume this is the Michael Bay ones. Yeah, that's what that's what I yeah. saw. Yeah. I could be totally wrong, but when I saw the thing, it said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles writers, and not from the cartoons. I don't even have to take on this news because it's just like I don't know. Like if this is about a car. And it's an action movie. I don't really give a shit about cars, so it's I, like yeah. I, I think it's just it's not going to be about cars, but I think it's going to be a, like about not a car that comes to life or anything, but it'll be about just cars with cars, like general. Ford vs Ferrari shit, where it's like Maybe, the car is a big yeah. part of it. But considering he's a stunt guy, he brought his John Wick. My guess is it's going to be like something like that, but car focused. Mm. So, Bass, you're a car guy. Yep. Does this piece of news twist your nethers? It could be interesting. I'd probably watch it for the sake of watching it. Because of the cars? Yeah. And the family? Yep. Okay. It's all about the family. Always about all the family. about the family. I watched Infinity War last night. I haven't watched it for the longest Ooh, time. I started watching it today, too. Before you got here? Uh, in this morning. Oh, wow. I finished it last night. Whoa. Wow. Spoil him, G. Spoil him. Tell him how it ends. You know what I was actually confused about when I was watching it? Hmm. What? Now that I'm going back and like thinking about it, I recall talking about how 2014 Thanos was like the fucking guy going around murdering people. Okay, mm-hmm. and like he was he was the killer. He's the guy that wouldn't say I'll leave half of Earth. I'm just gonna demolish. Oh, sorry, everybody. Yeah, no, I know. I was thinking of Infinity War with 2014 Thanos, but yes, now I know. End game Thanos. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So that's the one that they showed us in End Game, which I probably should have said End Game Thanos. Infinity War Thanos was the methodical philosophical ruler mm-hmm. okay environmentalist actually sure but then they had that flashback with the young gamora where he gives her that dagger that we've never seen before mm-hmm. which i was like i mean i obviously don't think they knew about it but why would you introduce something you never anyways it was for the one line perfectly it, balanced no exactly for the gram and she, but she's always had it right mm-hmm. so it's like anyways so to that i say he was splitting people in half to murder them and he was abiding by the cut the thing in half mm-hmm. so i was like maybe they this was like one of those continuity errors that 
unless you've seen the movie like 12 times like I have that you won't really pick up on because this seems like the one that they showed in Infinity War from back then when she was a baby or a little mm-hmm. girl to now is the same one. Yet in 2014, something happened, which could make sense because maybe he was philosophical. Then he got super annoyed and pissed off and wanted to murder everybody. And then he went back to being philosophical again. I don't know. That's just well, for me, what I thought, because I, I think up until the point where he saw himself get beheaded, yes, he was that philosophical one. Or you philosophical. So? Yeah, I think so. But okay. then afterwards, he went and he was pissed off because he succeeded but they were doing at redoing everything he did. So that's why he said, like, I don't care. I'm going to tear down this whole plant, like every shred or whatever, and went yep. on the rampage. Like, I don't think it was like that's how okay. he was. But once he got there, like, because he was even sitting and waiting, right? Mm-hmm. So yep. it showed he wasn't like, I think, because I do agree with you. I do like Infinity War Thanos better overall. Like, the whole movie oh, compared to was, Endgame, yeah. way better, in my yeah. opinion. But I think it was he was calm. I haven't seen Endgame. I've only seen it once, so I could be totally off base. But I think it was when he saw himself get beheaded was when he started getting more psycho just realizing that he already accomplished it mm-hmm. and people were trying to like undo what he did yeah right. that's, possible. that's when the whole I'm inevitable mm-hmm. line s- sunk into his own bass I agree see the only difference <laughs> sorry the only <laughs> difference for me is that the entrance of Thanos in Endgame was him coming in with his full body armor that he did wear back in the young Gamora when he was mm-hmm. lining people up and shooting half of them but he had his helicopter blade, and he was wiping the blood off it like it was nothing. Whereas, I mean, we didn't see the helicopter blade in Infinity War because he didn't need it because mm-hmm. he had the gauntlet, and he could throw down like crazy. Basically. And so that's why it felt more brutal because he's literally like, I don't even – I'm barely going to wipe the blood off this blade because I actually personally killed mm-hmm. whoever I killed before I showed up here. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Infinity War – it was obviously the different one that he didn't have to. He got other people to do it, and he had the stones. Yeah. So, again, a very minor thing. I just was thinking about it last night. I thought I'd bring it up. Interesting. Uh, but, yes, Infinity War, I think, is universally the better movie. Mm-hmm. But Endgame just brings the whole thing beautifully together. Mm-hmm. Like, Can't it is that. One without the other. Yeah, exactly. And I think the other thing, too, is one of these days, I'm just going to take both of them and just combine them together somehow. So the second that one's done, it's just going to feed into the other and be like one long ass. Just download it, edit it, yeah. cut it, doom. That's it. And then have the in, the Infinity War Part 1 and 2, which was original mm-hmm. thing, going into it. But yeah, I, s- I still get goosebumps in so many parts in that movie. It's good. It's good. Did you just text us a video? I did. That's that Mystery Incorporated I was talking about. Are you sure this isn't a porno? It's not. Well, let me uh, <laughs> check. It's, it's not. <laughs> Are you sure? I really hope it's <laughs> You really it's on, hope so? On, no, I really hope it's not. Oh. It's on Welcome YouTube. to Coolsville, a town haunted by the secrets of its past and surrounded by mystery. I think oh. it's legit, that but not. Like a, that seems know. like a Pennywise ripoff. Or a, I don't know. What the fuck's that movie called? It's mm. a ripoff. Yeah. I am... Um, uh, Oh, I don't, have you guys ever seen Inside the Actor Studio? I wa- I would catch it once in a while, but it's very well known. Yeah, that was. Cr- I didn't know he was this old. James Limpton. Yeah, died at ninety three. I've seen a lot uh, of in ninety three. He died at the Sorry, age of ninety three. At ninety three. Yeah, he died. Did I say in ninety three? In ninety three. Oh, he died at the age of ninety three. Uh, yeah, that like so I wasn't. I didn't wasn't even aware he was that old. Mm-hmm. And. I watched so many of the clips on YouTube, and I was just enjoyed it. And mm-hmm. it was like, I don't know, he was he was really nice. Like I just liked watching the program because yeah. it felt like he got actors to a point where they were comfortable, and they enjoyed being on his show. Whereas, I think who else had that ability? Um, was it Conan? No, not Conan. Letterman. Uh, Letterman. Yeah. Letterman had that ability. Like with I've his, seen him talk to with rappers. his original show or his older or his new one original but even his new one right now like he just lets the person go and they just feel comfortable and they're able to talk and even inside the actor's studio it's just fun and he knew how to prompt the people there was no agenda behind it he was just it's kind of literally inside the actor's studio and it just seemed like it was a show for people just to enjoy what they do yeah like yeah i don't know i was i was surprised it wasn't like one of those things like i sat in my room for three hours not knowing what to do with myself Mm -hmm. but it was just like Damn, I didn't know he was that old, and damn, his show was really good. Mm-hmm. And we probably won't ever see anything like that again because everything's so well got an agenda. Technically, Joe Rogan's kind of like that, where he just no, lets but, people go. Right, but we're t- I'm talking in terms of just actors. Oh, no. Like, when you look at 
actors on Jimmy Fallon, it's like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Uh, when you see people, though, on something long form like Inside the Actor Studio or David Letterman or mm-hmm. even when they go on Rogan, like Robert Downey Jr.'s episode on Rogan, which was only like an hour and a half, is like a shorter one in comparison mm-hmm. to the other ones. It was just a guy talking about his craft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a new one. I think Vogue has do, been doing it where they Ooh. just – Vogue. Okay. On, through like YouTube, mm-hmm. through the YouTube channel, and they basically let actors talk to each other. I've seen that. I saw the one. It was, it was Brad Pitt and Adam Sandler. Yep, I saw the one with Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans. I was watching. Like it was also on Vogue, but it's like celebrities take over Tinder accounts. It's oh, okay. unrelated, but it's just like T.J. Miller did one. Oh yeah. And the whole time, his way of flirting was just screaming at them that he, where the fuck is the money? And I'm gonna gut your family. And I just <laughs> found it so fucking funny. Wow. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought, yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, I see what you mean. Also, I looked into Mystery Incorporated. Mm. Uh, it is fan made. Yeah. But what usually happens it's with these trailers is that, like, <laughs> companies will see it, like, yeah. say the CW, and people are going to yeah. be pushing the CW to, like, see this, and they might, like, pick it up. I see the potential with this alone. Like, I, well, I we heard ha- Shaggy smokes weed and holds a gun from the comments I've been reading. Oh, yeah. If, if it's on the edgy side, we're t- like Riverdale, Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. It can very much happen. That would be, and that's Warner Brothers, right? So would they, like, uh, allow yeah. someone like CW to do, or would they just want to do it on HBO Max yeah, Anyone can get anything of these days. They'll get some rights. They'll pay a royalty fee and call it a day. Hmm. I, I would be interested laughs. in watching it. Yeah. Have a few laughs. <laughs> but last one, last last uh, live action Scooby-Doo is for Freddie a Prince porno. Jr. <laughs> it was not a porno. <laughs> <laughs> and Hawkeye's wife, Linda Carlini. She's oh, hot. Yeah. I, yeah, I, she, was a, she was a beautiful Oh, my God. Woman. She was yeah. Daphne. Fox. And I, be, I posted Daphne that. Daphne was Sarah Michelle Gellar. Oh yeah, Velma was. I posted yeah. a Linda thing Carlini. saying like these are all the same people. I didn't even know this. I'm like, no way, this is the same chick who was like Hawkeye's wife and fucking yeah, Velma. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was a bunch of other people too. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. master yeah. disguise. I've always had a crush on her, and Marissa Tomei, mm. yeah. and of Still course Kate it. Beckinsale. So many. Um, Allison Brie mm-hmm. as She Hulk, <laughs> and supposedly Mark Ruffalo confirms that there's preliminary talks Mm -hmm. to join in the fun Mm -hmm. because the uh, She-Hulk, Jessica Walters, I believe is her... I have um, no idea. Her human name. Sounds right. She is Bruce Banner's cousin. Okay. They were originally, I think, going to have Rosario Dawson, which I thought she would have been real good. Yep. Um, But yeah. I don't know about Alison Brie. I only remember her from uh, Community, Mm -hmm. to be honest. I haven't seen any of her new stuff. Yeah, she's in Glow. She's so good in Glow. Okay, Glow is so good in general. I haven't seen only it. saw the first season. Yeah, no, the other ones were really good too. Um, I haven't seen her anything else, but she's been in a few things. <clears throat> what was funny because I was watching her interview and she said like she found out about it online because Marvel was looking for an Allison Brie type, and then people were like, "What about well, Allison Brie? Hire Allison Brie then." <laughs> she was in Mad Men. Okay, fair enough. Um, which is a really good one. She must have been fairly young then. Uh, maybe Mad Men, yeah, 2007, 2015, and so it crossed over with Community, which was 2009 to 2015. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, she was in the Disaster Artist. Never watched. Was that. she? Yeah, the Lego Movie. Okay, fair enough. She was in Scream Four. Never watched it. Scream Four. Yeah. Holy. I didn't know there was a fourth one. I honest. did. Did you? Yeah. But anyways, yeah. I think it. I think it'll be cool because I think you need a type of person that does not seem like they would be uh, hulking. Like, there, there needs to be that complete opposite side. Sure. Oh, she was the girlfriend of Mark and uh, Disaster Artist. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Right. Interesting. So, I don't know. I think she'd be good. Um, yeah. I think, it. yeah, she's got that unassuming thing where, you know, once the Hulk comes out, you're like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Like, when every other Hulk showed up, it's like, oh, mild-mannered or whatever, and then all of a sudden, yeah. boom. The She-Hulk has never been like big, big. No, just it's always been like slender green and mm-hmm. super so strong as fuck. I, I have no idea. I can't. I have no. I have, don't know anything about the lore per se. Like, does she? Does he perfect his serum? And no, something she, else happens to her. They kiss. Another gap. They didn't. They're cousins, cousins, man. What's so the problem? From the South. Pornhub. <laughs> It's this is not a porno. Just throw a step <laughs> over there. The bass's thing was a porno. That is not a porno. <laughs> it wasn't a porno. Actually, it was art. <laughs> it's art. Uh, okay, let's go. Jessica Walters. 
not Barbara. No, not Barbara Walters. Jesus. Well, she could also be in that. You don't know. You think so? I don't know who Barbara Walters is, <laughs> but she could. Uh, okay, She Hulk. Let's let's look at She Hulk's um, Wikipedia page. Oh yes, Elijah Dushku. Oh, she's great. I love her. Apparently played by in what? There was like a really old one. I think she was in. Uh, Maybe that was it. She, she uh, uh, Buffy okay. the Vampire Slayer. So Walters received an emergency blood transfusion from her cousin. Follow, okay, so following an injury, mm-hmm. Walters receives an emergency blood transfusion from her cousin, Bruce Banner, and acquired a milder version of his Hulk condition. As such, Walters becomes a large, powerful, green-hued version of herself, while still largely retaining her personality. In particular, she retains her intelligence and emotional control. Although, like Hulk, she still becomes stronger, if enraged. In later issues of the comics, her transformation is permanent. All right, I'm glad you had fun with that. I had a lot of fun <laughs> So Never Boss again. Logic did a mock-up of how she could look, and I don't really saw that. I don't really yeah. know my thoughts on this, but it's like that's fan art, so I'm not going to judge it on that. I think she'd be good. Okay, I think so too. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I think the the most important thing about the Hulk thing is uh, about Hulk. Sorry, in general, whether it's She Hulk or regular Hulk, you have to show the two sides, mm-hmm. like. Bruce Banner does not look like he could punch a fly, let alone Wolverine's mm-hmm. skeleton out of his body or whatever the fuck he did in that one comic. Ripped him in half. Ripped him in half. Like across so the that's world. what makes it amazing. Like, if mm-hmm. they decided to make, I don't know, Goldberg as the Hulk in the next movie, you'd be like, are you just going to paint him green? Because you might as well just do that. However, if they take somebody like, uh, I don't know, somebody really, like a really Toby Maguire. No. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Let's say they took Shia LaBeouf and made him into the Hulk. That's a transformation into this big hulking thing, right? Instead but of screaming Hulk smash, he'd scream Optimus! And then mm-hmm. just say no over uh, and Bumblebee, over again. actually, as well. Bumblebee. Or Optimus. Scream Bumble. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah he does. <laughs> Remember that time we told... <laughs> so we were... It was Vass is there. I w- obviously I was living there in Calgary, mm-hmm. and Nick had come down, and we were going to the Stampede, and then Nick and I had put together this plan for Vass to meet a girl there, mm-hmm. and but if it didn't go right, or if something went wrong, oh, yeah. he would have to look at us, look at her, scream Optimus, and we would come to the rescue, <laughs> and it ended up just being this big thing where randomly throughout the day we would just scream Optimus. Just to bail him out of situations with girls. How many situations were you in that you had to scream out them? None of them. None. This was all in our heads on the way <laughs> oh. there. Because we're like, well, we'll need a signal. Like, we'll need something. And, like, Vass is like, oh, well, I don't know. I'll just do something with my hands or whatever. And Nick was like, I'll just, like, scream, like, a high pitch, like, ah! like, something like that. I'm like, why don't you just get him to scream Optimus really loud in her <laughs> face? <laughs> Luckily, didn't have to do that. Yeah. But you know what? It was good to have it in his back pocket. Mm -hmm. And that, kids, is the story of how Vasily met a porn star. I'm just joking. (laughs) That's it. We're wrapping up. Wait, I've got one more question. Oh, Oh. do it. So do you guys know what lucid dreaming is? Yes. Yes. Have you ever lucid dreamed before? Probably. Probably. don't remember. See, I've been trying because, like, (laughs) I don't know. I I want to, and there's actually, like, ways to do it. There's techniques and shit, like write a dream journal, shit like this. Yeah, yeah. And I've had time. I think I've had two times. Where, like, I was in a dream. The first one is I knew I was in a dream. I was, like, walking around, like, oh, I'm in a dream. But I didn't do anything cool. I was literally just walking around doing, like, jack shit. As I was sitting to myself, like, I was, like, in bed trying to sleep. And here I am outside. I'm dreaming. And then I woke up, like, fuck. I could have flied. Flown. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Shut up, Meg. (laughs) Second one was super weird. It was, like, a sex dream. But, like, it was. I didn't know I was in a dream. But, like, it was this whole plot line. That's what a wet dream is. No, but I I didn't finish. (laughs) It was, it was a line of Silicon Wait, Valley. you didn't finish? That's terrible. <laughs> it was a line of Silicon Valley. He's like, I went to the bathroom to jerk off, but I didn't come. I didn't need to. And it was, but it was, I don't know. I'm trying to do it because I want to fly and go Super Saiyan. So oh. stick along. Stick around. Uh, stick I, along. Hear, I hear if you take Champex. <laughs> that helps you. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. What's Champex? It's, it's, like it's to help you stop smoking. Yeah. I heard those no. give you But apparently, dreams. like... It fucks with your body and, like, your mind bit. or whatever. So that's how committed you are to this lucid dream. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> one, of, one of our friends, when I was living in Calgary, oh, came man. down. So Vass was down there, too. Yep. He decided to stop smoking 
the weekend he decides to come visit me in Calgary, every time, time he comes visits, we go out and we drink and we party. This is the day. This is that trip where we spent like six hours at a strip club. Uh, yeah. Did they <laughs> have a good really Thanksgiving buffet? Time. You know what? No, they had we got pizza. A pizza. It was, it was good. not bad. It was very good. Yeah. You know but what? For strip club pizza, it was very good. He was such a fucking psycho that weekend, like yeah. just losing it because he wanted like it was like he a was battle. On this shit. It was, it was a, like constant battle in his in his brain and yeah. body for like the Champex fighting his urges, but him just to keep chain smoking. So it's like, oh what yeah, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. And it was like you know what it was. <laughs> it was like in Infinity War mm-hmm. where. Banner's trying to get the Hulk out, and he's like, "Come on, man!" No, <laughs> like always the entire weekend. He was yeah. yeah. So did he quit smoking? Uh, no, no. <laughs> and I don't even know if he had any lucid dreams. Yeah, damn. but you need to I've make sure that Jam you finish Duncan. in your dreams before you wake up because you don't want any blue balls. I don't know. If I want to finish in my dreams. You always want to finish. Okay. Yeah, just okay. Okay, this is so <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> and this. It's a wonderful time yeah. to quit. Is that the title always finish. No, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> uh, thank you everybody for joining us for another week of stupidity uh, over here at the F Word. You can always head over to the website of the Saskatchewan Podcast Network. You can find us there uh, or anywhere else. If you go on Instagram at the F Word Podcast, you can find the link to bio.fm. Um, if you find us on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, and even when you're wherever you're listening, even where you are wherever you're listening to, which made no sense, hit the notifications so you can get notifications when we're coming up. Tell your friends if you like the show. Uh, it'd be great to grow this thing a little bit more. I think we've been going at about two and a half years, and it's been just kind of coasting, so any growth is good growth, I guess. Uh, I also, the Saskatchewan Podcast Network something to do with Connexus Credit Union. Uh, you can email <laughs> us at the podcast at gmail.com. Uh, make sure you go on Facebook as well. You can find our episodes drop in there on our Facebook page that uh, is just kind of there too. I mean, at least we post once a week, right? right? Yeah, probably. And uh, check out the Lazy Canadian for all your meme-tastic enjoyment. And that's it. I'm G. I'm your boy, Wet Dreamer. And I'm Vass. <laughs> But I wasn't wet, so I'll just call me dream. Okay, we're out. Get out of get the fuck out. <laughs>